What's up, everybody? All right, so I know the question you're asking. How good is the Super Mario Bros. movie? Right now, it has 54% from critics on Rotten Tomato, and it has a 95% from audience members. Now, this is just such a stark contrast, and to me... The truth lies somewhere in the middle. I just saw the movie for myself and it is just as fun as all the audience member reviews are saying. There is nonstop action, nonstop comedy. I think the biggest takeaway from me is definitely Jack Black's portrayal of Bowser. I mean, he absolutely steals the show with his musical numbers. I loved it. I wish they would have done more musical numbers in the movie, as a matter of fact. I think Mario, Luigi, Peach, all of the main characters maybe should have had a song and dance or two. I think that would have been just great. But I do want to say I love the emotional beats that they add with Mario's family. I don't want to get into spoilers, but Mario is trying to impress his father throughout the movie, just as Donkey Kong is with Cranky Kong. Kong, and I think at the end, those emotional values really come to play and really pull at your heartstrings, which I enjoyed. Now, I also want to talk about how there are so many Easter eggs in this movie. I mean, the callbacks are just insane. From the beginning to the end, every single scene, you'll be able to point something out in the foreground, in the background. That is a reference to an old game or something Nintendo, and I loved it. The audience that I was with in the theater, everybody was cracking up and laughing and cheering. The movie is so much fun, and I think especially for kids, this movie is a 10 out of 10. I mean, it is just nonstop action, like I said. The colors pop, the animation is beautiful, Illumination did such a great job with this film, and I really couldn't give it enough praise for how fun it is. Now, this isn't a spoiler, but as you guys know, there was so much controversy surrounding the Chris Pratt voice and how they do the Brooklyn accent, but it doesn't sound like the original games, and I think they went about that wonderfully. They definitely take tiptoe around the subject but as you guys know from the commercial that nintendo leaked online about a few days ago we see that mario and luigi use their classic video game accents in their commercial for the super mario bros plumbing service and i think that was a great way to go about it not only to please fans who wanted that type of interpretation but to kind of give a nod and tip to the hat like hey we could do this but it wouldn't have worked in a full hour and 30 minute movie and i definitely think they went the right way the brooklyn accent Accents from Charlie Day and Chris Pratt work so well, in my opinion, and I really, really appreciated it. Now, that is the positive, but I do want to say I have some negative, unfortunately. The truth lies in between the 54% and the 95% for me. Personally, I'd give this movie like a 7 out of 10. I really loved all of the Easter eggs. Like I said, I love the musical numbers. I think the music in this movie really stands out more than I thought it would. And I wish they would have leaned into it a little harder. I mean, they have great songs. The soundtrack for this film, if you can buy it or download it, is going to be so great. 10 out of 10 on the soundtrack. However, my gripes are really with the pacing. I think the movie is just too fast. And that really is the biggest negative for me. I just think there's no time for the characters to like bond, to really get to know each other. You don't feel like Princess Peach and Mario, like besides this instant connection they have, they don't really understand each other. They really even spend much time with each other. The only aspect of the film that they take time on are the action sequences, like when Mario goes against Donkey Kong or at the very end in the third act when the whole gang goes up against Bowser. Those are the only scenes where the movie really takes a moment to just focus on one thing and I wish it wasn't that way. I wish they just gave us character moments in the film, even if it was just a few. I think at the beginning, they did a great job, and I really love that intro sequence with Mario and Luigi in Brooklyn, the whole sequence with the dog and how they're trying to save Brooklyn from the flood. I really loved all that, and it really made me enjoy the Super Mario Brothers, like Mario and Luigi. That dynamic really stood out to me. But as soon as they get to Mushroom Kingdom, that dynamic is totally over. We never see Mario and Luigi pretty much until the third act of the movie. And everything from there is just bang, 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 next, 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 scene, scene, scene. And that's my biggest takeaway. I wish it would have been a little bit longer. I think this movie could have benefited from a longer runtime. That being said, that's my take on it. I know this movie is probably more so aimed at kids than anything, and kids are going to love this. They are not going to notice these pacing issues. But for me, I just have to be honest with you guys, it was too fast. I loved the beginning. I loved how they made us feel the bond between Mario and Luigi, but they took that away immediately, and we don't get it till the end. And we never really feel that way between any other characters. There's a little 
little bit of that between Donkey Kong and Mario, and I liked that as well, but it wasn't enough for me. That being said, though, I really thought the movie was enjoyable overall. It was so much fun. It is a 10 out of 10 in fun, ladies and gentlemen. Like, it is nonstop. The musical numbers were great. The Easter eggs were great. Everything as far as that was just mind-blowing to me, and I loved it all. The visuals on screen, the animation, like I said, from Illumination was just superb, but... I think it was a little bit too fast. I wish they would have extended the movie's runtime a bit and given us more time with the characters like Peach, like Toad, and it let us see them develop with Mario instead of just throwing us on this adventure immediately. That being said, I'd love to hear what you guys thought about the movie down below. Let me know if you liked it. Let me know if you didn't. I'm open to all of your guys' takes and interpretations. If you did like the video, make sure to smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>